storm warnings and a watch issued with a potential storm on the horizon. And in sport, Cricket West Indies president says seniority won't determine higher grade contracts for players. I'm Ricardo Roberts and this is Caribbean in 10. For Monday, June 19th, I'll be back with the details after the break. The Sajik O. Cahill School of Business and Management invites you to attend Navigating a Path to Growth, a risk and competitive intelligence conference at Hilton Barbados Resort on June 26th and 27th, 2017. Speakers include global strategy and risk expert Dr. Andrea Schotter, regional PwC risk assurance leader Bruce Scott, Ms. Lisa Padmore, Dr. Delisle Worrell, Mr. Ian D'Souza, Professor Patrick Hossein, Professor Gillian Marcel, and many others. For more information, call 246-424-7731 or visit www.uwichsb.org. Secure your space today. A strengthening potential tropical cyclone is moving rapidly towards the southern Windward Islands with weather forecasters warning that it could be a tropical storm when it moves through the Windward Islands later tonight and into tomorrow. The disturbance was located 325 miles east-southeast of Trinidad and 405 miles southeast of Grenada at 11 a.m. and moving towards the west near 25 miles per hour. It has sustained winds of 40 miles per hour and some strengthening is expected during the next day or so. Forecasters say a fast motion toward the west-northwest is expected over the four, next 48 hours and on the forecast track. The disturbance is expected to move through the Windward Islands and near the eastern coast of Venezuela tonight and early Tuesday. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada and part of Venezuela's east coast, while a tropical storm watch is in effect for Bonaire and Aruba. The tropical, a tropical storm warning means that tropical storm conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area, in this case within 24 hours, while a tropical storm watch means that the tropical storm conditions are possible within the watch area generally within 48 hours. Former Jamaica Prime Minister Bruce Golden has described as foolishness the positions being advocated by two CARICOM leaders regarding the ongoing political situation in Venezuela. The Prime Ministers of both Antigua and Barbuda and St. Vincent and the Grenadines are insisting that the Organization of American States, OAS, stay out of Venezuela's affairs. They've also urged the regional counterparts not to be part of any effort to force regime change in the country where opposition parties have been staging street protests in a bid to force Nicolas Maduro and his administration out of office. But Golding says support should not be given to Caracas only on the basis of it being good to its Caribbean neighbors. The former Jamaican leader said, quote, Venezuela has been good to us, but the government of Venezuela has proceeded in a direction that we cannot condone. I think that this argument that is being advanced by Dr. Ralph Gonzalez and the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Gaston Brown, about non-interference is foolishness. And I say it's foolishness because the same argument could have been advanced for apartheid South Africa, end quote. Golden agrees with Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness that the OES is the appropriate forum to discuss the issue. He says while CARICOM was ideally placed to be the mediator, that can't happen now because of the sharply conflicting positions that have been taken within the regional grouping. Golan said he also supports the position taken by Trinidad and Tobago that OES Secretary General Luis Almagro be, must be removed because he has compromised himself and is in danger now of compromising the OAS. The Jamaican Hotel and Tourist Association, the GHTA, is warning that 
the worsening crime situation in the country could severely affect the tourism sector, one of the island's main earners of foreign exchange. Hoteliers are particularly concerned about the crime problem in the western part of the island. JHTA President Omar Robinson warned that the crime can affect the safety of the workers, some of whom come from troubled communities where the violence is taking place and it, it also hurts the island's image and ultimately visitor arrivals. He said the association will be seeking a meeting with Police Commissioner George Qualo to discuss the situation. Robinson says the hoteliers want to see comprehensive crime-fighting measures implemented as quickly as possible. Figures released by the police showed that nearly 600 people were murdered in Jamaica during the first six months of this year. Jamaica recorded 1,350 murders for all of 2016, with the police claiming that 65% of murders were linked to gangs. Stay with us, your midday sport is next. Grow your business or promote your event through the services offered by the Caribbean Media Corporation and Carib Vision. Our distribution provides a platform on cable, terrestrial television and websites. We cover carnivals and events from across the region. We can bring your event live and alive to the world. For music makers, program producers, businesses, we can expand your reach to in excess of 2 million households daily. Our other services include news updates to enhance your media products, studio space for programming development. We can facilitate the launch of new products and services and training. Contact us and we will help you unleash your creative ability, develop products and services, and provide the medium to watch them grow. Contact Loretta Skeet at cmccaribbean.com or call her 1-246-467-1044 or 1-246-253-3889. Call and book your carnival or event today. Welcome back. It's now time for Sport Cricket. West Indies boss Dave Cameron says senior West Indies players need to come to grips with the harsh reality of their performance-based requirements, stressing that experience alone would no longer count in the issuing of central retainer contracts. Speaking with Massey United Insurance Line and Length television program and against the backdrop of Darren Bravo's rejection of a grade C contract last year, Cameron argued that when these players now controlled their own futures, since once they performed, uh, they and not Cricket West Indies dictated the quality of contract they received. Cameron also contended that seasoned players needed to translate that experience into performances instead of hoping for a high level retainer based on their length of time in international cricket. Cricket West Indies determines the grade of contracts on a points system based on a player performance over a 12-month period and Cameron said players were award or aware of the performances required in order to stake their claim for higher grade contracts. Cameron said going forward it was important that senior players understood the stated policy of the CWI. And teenage sensation Haley Matthews believes a strong outing in the upcoming ICC Women's World Cup would go a long way in silencing Wendy's critics who believe the Caribbean side can only excel in the shortest format of the game. West Indies played superbly to win the T20 World Cup last year in India, dominating the mighty Australia woman in the final. But Matthews believes the Windies possess the quality and skills to add uh, the 50 overs title to their trophy cabinet as well. And we hear what she has to say in our major newscast at 6.30. That's Caribbean in 10. Good afternoon. <laughs>